Good morning, folks. This is Longshot here with another statue review. Today, I'm super excited to bring to you by Sideshow Collectibles, the Invisible Woman comic head. Now, before I get started on this, I would like to say thank you, Sideshow, for bringing out the Thing Premium format figure, releasing the Invisible Woman comic head, and then not doing a goddamn thing for Mr. Fantastic or the Human Torch. Don't complete the set. There's nobody on the face of the planet that wants to see the entire Fantastic Four in their entire collection. Why would anybody want that? I'm tired of you guys putting out... Why don't you guys put out another Wolverine while you're at it? Oh, wait, you already did. How about another Sabretooth? Mmm, yes, you got that down too. Spider-Man? How many are there? Let's see, we got the original comic head. Then we got the, well, we got the premium format, the comic head. The J. Scott Campbell comic head, and now you're redoing the premium format figure. What I'm tired of Sideshow doing is consistently bringing out more and more of these same exact pieces, but leaving out other characters that people would want in their collections. Again, I think this is a big, giant slap in the face to all our collectors, because people want different. Otherwise, we will all have the same goddamned collection. Give us more variety. Anyway, so displayed here is the Fantastic Four. The reason why I didn't put a copy of the first Fantastic Four appearance is two reasons. One, I don't have it. Two, uh, this actually shows all four characters, Sideshow. Let's take a look at that. You got Mr. Fantastic, the Thing, the Human Torch, and the Invisible Woman. Right? You have it all right there. Hmm, should give you a hint. Huh? Ask clowns. Maybe you should do something more. And here, right over here, is one of those little insert cards that they got from the, I think this is 1994 Marvel Universe in the Invisible Woman insert card. I actually really like the Invisible Woman because she's more of a, a thinker and a manipulator with her powers. She's not really an outright brawler. But without further ado, here is the Invisible Woman comic head by Sideshow Collectibles. Now, notice right here that the sculpting in her hair. It, that's her facial sculpt is probably the best one out there. You can take let me get a close up right here. You can see all the detail in her in her lips and in her eyes. And her hair is sculpted really nice. The only critique I have for her is she doesn't have that nice big bubble butt that I've lear learned to love in a sideshow piece for all the females. It's more like a soccer mom butt. It's a little flat, it's a little wide. It's not really that sexy in this man's opinion. But overall, being that it's a woman, it could be one-fifth scale without any real issues because um, the thing is huge. But, um, you know, hopefully if Sideshow, you know, stops sitting on a cactus plant and has some real good ideas for a real cool Mr. Fantastic or, Mr. or a really cool Human Torch, then I'm sure the value of the other pieces as well will go up because everything will be in demand. But, I mean, I really genuinely love the Fantastic Four. I wouldn't have spent several thousand dollars on a first copy of this fucking thing if I didn't have a real interest in the Fantastic Four. But this, like I said, this is only one man's opinion. But that's going to be it today for me, uh, folks. Please sub me, and please let me know what you think of the Invisible Woman comic head by Sideshow Collectibles. And uh, let me know what you also think about finishing the entire set of four by having a Mr. Fantastic out there and a Human Torch. I appreciate your feedback. You guys are great. Have a great day.